Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair of FC here on Vanilla FM. And as promised, we're coming back to um, update on the club after the winter transfer window. So last time we had a loss against Eastleigh and since then we've been on a good run of form. Uh, we have lost in the third round of the FA Cup, which is pretty far in to be fair for us against Bristol City. We've been making quite a lot of money as well from uh, gate receipts. And as I said, we've been on a good run of form and we're about to play Halifax. Now Halifax is a tough team, so I am expecting a draw or a loss against them. Uh, we find ourselves in second place uh, for the the um, uh, the league, uh, tied with Hartlepool for first place. So, looking, looking good, looking a lot better, a lot, a lot better. <laughs> Than, um, than I had expected for us this season. I was expecting us to be sort of around here, uh, between 14th, 18th and so on. But we've been finding ourselves in the playoff zone the entire season, pretty much. And there's a good chance we might we, we might have a, 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 a chance of winning it. And um, that is quite exciting. F uh, finance wise, we've actually been doing okay. Um, I think it's all the transfer uh, sorry, all the gate receipts. I think so. This season, yeah, we're doing all right with gate receipts, even though our stadium is small. Um, my chain comes pretty good. We had a quite a, quite, um, a good bonus from the FA Cup as well, so that is good. Uh, compared to last season, our corporate facilities have been giving us quite a lot of income. Uh, da, 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 anything else jumps out? Not really. And expenditure-wise, uh, obviously player wages are going to be more than last season. That's to be expected. But uh, yeah, nothing else jumps out really. So yeah, we'd be doing okay uh, in terms of that. Now to update you on the transfers that we did over the uh, January, we we got a new goalkeeper because. Uh, Russ decided to agree a free transfer to uh, I come they play in the championship that's fair enough he's gone two um, leagues above us uh, which is a fair enough move I guess I don't know if he's played yet for them let's have a look no matches yet for the for him but um, I don't even know if he's supposed to be a backup player or what kind of arrangement they've got with him they got this goalkeeper let's go to uh, selection info we got Costa Costas as well uh, yeah he's like a reserve goalkeeper I think uh, general info yeah they got him as a backup goalkeeper okay so he's is up there now that's fair enough in and as a replacement we got ourselves Louis Molden 22 year old um, came to us from Wolves. He's been on loan at several clubs. Manchester City before that and Liverpool was his original club. This is a young goalkeeper. We also got ourselves two new centre-backs. So for the wide position we got Alex P Pierce. He's about to retire. An Irish player uh, that used to work for Wimbledon, F um, um, AFC, Millwall before that, then Derby. <clears throat> started out at Reading. Actually, no, he started out at Arnold, actually. But yeah, so he's, he's basically on... He's going to retire this summer. So that leaves us an open position. So if we get that promotion, we have an open position with no commitments. And that means we can have... Um, we can invest on a better central defender that will more... Um, it would be more adjusted to the new league. So it's, I like having this mixture of young players with long commitment contracts, no contract, and also players on the verge of retirement because those those on the verge of retirement open up a space uh, without having to like sell them off or have this uh, wage commitment for next year. So that's good. Uh, and then for the non-nonsense centre-back position, we got Matthew Bar or sorry, Matthew Baker. Not Matthew Bark. Uh, Matthew Baker is a Welsh player, previously playing at Newport on loan. Stoke is, is was his club. Um, yeah, so he's uh, playing for us now. He's basically the lowest league he's ever been in. 
so it should be fine for him. And um, that meant we got um, rid of two players essentially. So uh, Neil Cooney has been relegated. He's, he's not a, on a, on any sort of paid contract, so he'll be all right to stick around. And then we dropped. Where is he? Jamie Bullock. We dropped to the under 18s. He is a fantastic player, uh, and the fact that he's only under 18 as well means we can keep him for a while longer and he'll just play in our um, under 18 team, help them out, and so on, and still develop. He, uh, we are second of the league. Um, I haven't managed to improve. Whoops, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay. Um, I didn't manage to improve the um, youth facilities this year, so it's we're still playing exactly the same as last um, year with... I can't remember what our facilities are actually at the moment. Let's have a look at that. Average coaching, uh, limited youth recruitment, basic youth facilities. There we go. Average uh, corporate facilities, adequate training facilities. So our youth setup is essentially is fairly basic. Um, still. The best thing is junior coaching at the moment. Let's go into a match and uh, see what we can do. I'm playing against Halifax at home. They are a tough team and um, yeah, I'm, I'm not expecting a great result. And now the reason we didn't get any more transfers is because basically we ran out of money. Even though we have money at the club, we don't have uh, transfer budget left or wage budget left so I didn't want to commit to any players seeing that I couldn't really negotiate a proper contract at this point so we left it at that just a little bit of an improvement to our defense and that was it might still do a few if I can manage to find the money I might still do a few transfers just before the end of the transfer window which I think is at the end of March uh, we'll see what we can get or maybe some um, short-term loan contracts uh, we have plenty of space for that we've maxed out our long-term loans but um, if we can get any short-term loans for the end of the season just to give us a bit of a boost then we'll try to do that Oh well. I'm quite enjoying having this striker and center midfielder combo. What has happened a few times, especially when we're playing wing play and we get a cross in, is that even if the striker can't get to it, the center midfielder will run in pretty much undefended uh, into space in the box and get the sort of the, the leftover ball and, and, and score that way. So we have quite a few goals from our midfield that way where the defenders are focusing on a striker and leave the center midfielder undefended so we'll, we'll use that as much as we can uh, okay so we're gonna put uh kieran in and lemon in and adam roscoe adam roscoe is the highest road goal scorer for us this season with 20 goals so far across all the all um competitions i mean so oh no one nil down So I think it's plausible that we, we're definitely going to make the playoffs. I think that's pretty much guaranteed at this point. 
um, it is possible that we have a chance at the title. We just need to, you know, make sure we don't lose too many matches. We, we need to stay on the winning streak as much as we can. I think this one was always going to be a bit difficult because Hart I think Hartlepool... Is this Hartlepool? No, this is Halifax. But I think Halifax is like third, so they're right behind us. This is an important match for them. So of course they're going to try and give everything. We should be trying to give everything, but all our players are... Look at that. I think they're tired as well. We've had so many matches. It's, di it's been difficult to juggle the fitness. Um, and because we don't have many resources to draw on us either. Our club hasn't grown enough for us to be able to bring in youth players. So it's uh, difficult. But we stayed in second and now we're now three points ahead. Oh, Halifax is fifth. So they must have been... Yeah, they were fifth already. There's no arrow by them. All right, so I'll carry on until either March or the end of the season. We'll see. And then I'll give you another update then. Thanks so much for watching until the end, and take care. Bye-bye.